Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you quickly and easily how to use ExpressVPN on Android. Now what you're seeing right here is the main screen when you open up the app. Of course, I'll have a link in the description that will take you exactly where you need to go in order to make an account and download the application. But this is what you're going to get when you first open it up. The two most important parts of this are the location bar. You click on it and then from here you can choose all of the different countries and locations that are available to connect to. With Express, you have 105 and at the top here, you're going to have information about the fastest server that you can connect to and also some information about the connection speed. By selecting any one of these, you're automatically going to be connected up to that location. Of course, you have the big connect and disconnect button right there at the top. And once you're connected, any app that you use on your phone or any website that you visit is automatically going to think that you're in the location you're connected to. For example, if you wanted to watch a specific show on your Netflix app that's only available in a certain country, Country, you would just connect to that location and then you can open up your Netflix app and you'd be able to watch all the content available in that country. Now, underneath the location, you have a map. It shows you exactly where you're connected to and it shows your IP address. That's like your address while you're using the internet. So it tells other websites and apps who you are and where you're located. And if you wanted to change that, maybe you wanted to get a little bit more privacy. You wanted to change your IP address from something you were doing previously. Then you can just click that refresh button and automatically you're going to stay connected to the same place, but you're going to get a new IP address. Now, underneath that, you're going to have some more information about how much time you were connected up to the VPN. You can toggle that on and off over here. And then you have some add on features. So you have your ad and tracker blocker right there. We can choose to block trackers, malicious sites, ads and adult sites. You also can set up some other add ons like a password manager and see some other offers like their eSIM and their Aircove router. Now, just going back over here into the VPN, you can set up auto connect options so you can have the VPN connect whenever Android starts or whenever you join an trusted network. And the last thing here is going to be your protocol. So this is how the VPN connects to the internet. And you have a bunch of different options in ExpressVPN and which one you choose is going to affect primarily your internet speed. Now, the fastest is going to be lightweight UDP. And if you select it, you're going to have more options for how you want your data to be encrypted and made secure as it travels over the internet. A VPN doesn't just give you access to content from other places. It also keeps your browsing activity and your internet activity, everything you're doing online more secure. With ExpressVPN in particular, even Express doesn't know what you're doing online. That's been audited and checked out and verified by multiple independent companies. Both of these options over here, AES and ChaCha20 are great, pretty much impossible to crack. And I would recommend just going with automatic because that way the VPN will choose the best option for you depending on your network. After lightweight UDP, the next fastest option is going to be WireGuard. And if WireGuard is giving you issues, then you always have open VPN UDP. But 99% of the time, you probably won't even need that because you'll be able to get the faster speeds of lightweight UDP or WireGuard. Now, some other options that we have over here in the VPN are going to be a speed test. Here, you can just quickly and easily see the performance of different VPN servers and how fast your connection will actually be. It's normal to always have some slowdown in your speed whenever you using a VPN because you're adding in that extra connection over to the VPN server and the encryption, the process of making your data more secure. But in my experience using ExpressVPN, it really isn't that noticeable. And I usually don't wind up with any issues. I can stream video in HD without any problems. Now, everything that I've showed you up until this point should cover you for your day to day usage of ExpressVPN. But if we go into the profile, you do have some more advanced settings. The two most notable here are going to be your internet kill switch. This is going to disconnect the internet if the VPN connection is ever interrupted. So if you're ever doing something where you want to make sure that the VPN is always connected and you're never connected to the internet without the VPN connection, then you want to have the kill switch enabled. One primary example of this would be if you're ever on a public Wi-Fi network, those are notoriously unsecure and it's always a good idea to have the kill switch when you're on one of those networks. Another feature here that is good to know about is split tunneling. You may find yourself in a situation where you only want certain apps that you're using going through the VPN connection and split tunneling is what is going to allow you to do that. By default, all apps are going to use the VPN, but you can choose to exclude certain apps from the VPN or include certain apps from the VPN, giving you much more control over how you use the VPN connection. Now, just to sum up, I've tried out and tested many different VPNs on Android, NordVPN, Surfshark, ProtonVPN, and while they're all great options, and I'll even have more information about them in the description in case you want to find out more about those, ExpressVPN is personally my favorite. 
secret. Not only is the design of this application really easy to use and very nice on the eyes, but it also performs very well, giving you fast speeds and getting you access to the content that you want online. If you do want to try it out for yourself, I did manage to get a hold of a discount link. That'll be in the description as well, and it'll get you the best possible price. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one.